In this Inkscape tutorial, we will learn how to create a simple design for engraving. Open the cut file of the project you completed in part 1 of this tutorial series. We will primarily use the text tool. This tool is used to add text to your design. Click on the text tool. Click on the general area you would like to add your text. You can move it later with the select tool. Type in your name or initials. Now you will see text options at the top. You can change your font and you can change your font size. Now I'm going to select my font by clicking on this down arrow and scrolling through the font options. For the size, you can choose a number from the drop down or you can type in a number. I'm going to type in 90 and press enter. You can see that these initials are filled in, not outlined like the circle. Because it is filled in, the Glowforge will register it as an engraving. If we change the initials to be an outline, the Glowforge will recognize it as a cut line. For this project, we are keeping the letters filled in so that it will engrave on our keychain, pendant, or ornament. Next, I want to change the position of my initials because they are not centered in the circle. Go to the select tool, click on it, and then click on the initials. Drag it to the desired position. You will notice arrows around your letters. You can click on an arrow and drag it to change its size. When you are happy with your text and its position, we need to change it to a path. To do this, go to Path at the top and then click on Object to Path. Once you make this conversion, you cannot change the text style. Your engraved project is now ready for the Glowforge. But first you will need to save your project. Go to File, Save As, and make sure to save it as an SVG file. Open the Glowforge app and upload your design by clicking on the Create button and then Upload from File. Find your file and press Open. On the Glowforge app interface, you will see that the Glowforge has differentiated between the two parts of your design. From here, all you'll need to do is load your material, apply your cut and engrave settings, and click print to complete your project. 